Lauren and I are back, and today we're doing first impressions of Svensk Parfum. I was sent these fragrances in little boxes like this, and Henrik is the perfumer behind these, and we're gonna do the first impressions all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews, and this is Lauren from Lola Sense. And uh, we are doing first impressions of fragrances from Svensk Parfum. And uh, these were sent to me, as I said, uh, from Sweden. That's where Henrik uh, resides, is based out of. But if this is your first time on this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Or Lola, do you know these fragrances? I've heard of them. You I have? Think, yeah, I've seen some reviews and seen some things on social media about them, but yeah. I haven't smelled any of them. This is what they look like in the box. Little bottles, and we're gonna do first impressions. And I've got my glasses on so I can read. Alright. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So which one are we doing first? Pract. P-R-A-K-T? Pract, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Is Pract for practical? <laughs> I have no idea. I speak Swedish. Okay. Should we both spray separate ones? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one's mine? Oh, oh. Okay. Spray mine. <laughs> I was going to give it to you. <laughs> it's okay. So this is Pract. It smells like a woody, citrusy kind of a yeah. thing. Citrusy. Not too woody. Really, really light. A little fruity. I like pick up peach. like olives or something. Olives. I was going to say olive oil. It's very green. Very green. I'm smelling a fruit. Yeah, there is a fruit. So, what are your thoughts? I like it. Yeah? I like this one. It's I like the greenness. It smells like shrubbery. The slight bit fruitiness. Yeah, maybe there's a, an herbal note in here too. Yeah. No, this one's nice. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like it. Okay. This would be perfect for summertime, spring. Spring, Actually, summer. Spring. I think it's a great spring scent. Mm -hmm. Pract. Okay. What's next? All right. Next is Stila. So real quickly, mm -hmm. there are some information listed in here. Oh. I guess these are the ingredients. Oh, the ingredients. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Stila. I'm gonna. This is yours. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay. So Stila. That's Stila. Lavender. I love the lavender. Always love lavender. See, I don't like lavender. <laughs> this is really <laughs> lavender heavy. It's major lavender. All I can smell is lavender. I love lavender. This, this is great. It's, it's, it, these fragrances also seem very oily, so mm -hmm. they kind of um, stain my fingers there for a minute. But I like lavender, so I love the smell. This one's nice. Not for you. <laughs> what was Not this one? Me. Stila? Stila. Mm -hmm. Okay, Stila. Very, very heavy lavender. Okay. Do we have any information? I don't have much information about these okay. as far as, but except for the fact that he's got batch numbers in here and... Uh... Yeah, there's nothing else. Okay. Okay, this next one is Virk. 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 Okay, Virk. Woody. And a fruit of some kind. I'm getting more floral. Like. Hmm. I'm getting some flowers in here. Well, uh, definitely there's some flowers, but it's very woody and fruity. Maybe the flowers, maybe it's I'm osmanthus. Getting too, I'm not getting too much wood. I'm getting more what? Of the, more of the fruit and the flowers, yeah. Huh. Virk? Virk? Yeah, it's definitely woody to me. It's a nice one. Um, Simple. Yeah, I think most of these so far have been real simple. I mean, we haven't smelled the dry down or anything, but. Yeah, I like, I like the packaging and everything. Um, I guess the design work on the bottles, mm -hmm. but nice um, yeah, this is nice. Simple, easy to wear, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Okay, next is N. E-N. Just N. 
Not end, but n. We're trying to figure out what we're smelling here. <laughs> um, this is Silence. <laughs> peppery. Very peppery. And Actually, pepper is getting stronger as it's drying down on the paper. Yeah. I need a little animalic background here. There's a little bit of musk, I think. But yeah, simple, musky pepper. You like it spicy and hot? That's the one. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. There's also, actually, now that I'm speaking and I'm smelling, it's like there's like something chocolatey popping through. Mm, I don't know if you're picking that up. A little bit, yeah. Like truffles. Yeah, truffles. Not the kind that grows under the ground, the truffles that, that are chocolatey truffles. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm getting chocolate. Yeah, aren't you? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. E-N. Okay. Yeah, okay. Next is... Okay. I guess you haven't had much Swedish experience. <laughs> Just Ikea, that's all. <laughs> Not H&M. <laughs> okay. This is violet. So this is, um, I'll show you the name. Yeah, it's a green violet, like a violet leaf. I'm getting more candied violet. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So it's skimming, skimming. Huh. I love violet, so. I, I like violet, but I don't like the candied violet part. I'm not getting so much candy. I'm getting more green. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Violet. Although the, the candied part is kind of disappearing, so. Not bad. It's, it's, yeah, very simple. Yeah, a lot of these fragrances so far seem Really, really simple, so um, easy to wear. Okay, the next one is Saddle, or Sadel. Sadel? Sadel. Sadel. Saddle. Saddle. Okay, Saddle. Saddle without the two Ds, just one D. Wow, it does smell like a saddle. <laughs> it's leathery. Yeah, I like this one. It's not, it's, it's leather. It's like a leather bag, or a leather jacket, actually. Right, not a, not a dirty leather, just a real... Clean. Clean, sweetie leather. It's funny, I always mention this. I, I, I used to work with my uncle who used to make shoes and leather goods, and I, his shop smells exactly like this. So, yeah. Well, he, it used to. He doesn't have that shop anymore. But Yeah, it's, if you like true leather, this is it. Mm -hmm. Not dirty, not animalic, just like mm -hmm. after the leather has been you know, shined and polished and ready to be created into something. Yeah. Nice. It's nice. So what are your thoughts about Svensk Parfum? Well, all the fragrances that we tried seem to be very simple. Um, easy to I, wear? Easy to wear. I don't know if that's the intention here, but that's what I'm getting. It's a new brand, so maybe they're, this is what they're starting out with, uh, and uh, maybe perhaps they'll come up with something a little bigger in the future, but so far everything seems to be very easy to wear, very light. Um, they also seem to be one note kind of fragrances, almost like solo floors. Like the lavender to me okay. seemed like just oh, lavender. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, um, the leather seems like just leather. Mm -hmm. Although the other, the black pepper one, that was Ian, the black pepper. I think that one developed into like that chocolatiness after mm -hmm. a while. So some of them are a little different than others, but very, very simple to wear fragrances. Mm -hmm. I'll have a link to Svensk Parfum in the info box if you're curious to try these out or um, figure out a way to get samples or purchase bottles from them. But other than that, thank you, Lauren, for sampling these fragrances with me. Yeah, my pleasure. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Are you, cur are you familiar with this brand? Have you tried them out? Please put comments down so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.